Hey, what's going on, Christ Geared? I'm your host, John Hawes, and uh, sorry it's been a few weeks since I've posted something. Um, this time, I'm going to try to follow this through and finish editing. Um, just, again, personal stuff and, yeah, whole whole bunch of nasty mess. Anyways, this episode, I'm going to have the fun time of figuring out what's going on with this thing. My old, I say faithful 7.3, but it's... <sighs> It's a love-hate relationship with this truck, in case I hadn't told y'all. So, I'm going to bring y'all with me as far as figuring out what's going on with this thing, um, because it kind of left me stranded Friday. So, more about that here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead, roll that intro, and then I'll finish explaining what's going on. So first, before I explain what's going on in my truck, you may have seen this pretty thing in the background. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and explain what y'all are probably wondering or explain, talk about, you get know what I'm saying. Anyways, this is my, dad, my dad's 1966 Ford Mustang. This is my dad's 1966 Ford Mustang that uh, he's been working on. Actually, he's had this thing since before I was born. And it's pretty cool. Um, if you guys have seen my Snapchat, no, not Snapchat, uh, Instagram, here we go. If you guys have seen my Instagram, you will have seen that my dad's been kind of working on this on and off. Um, and well, finally, he repainted it. And which is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. It's turning into a really interesting color whenever the sun's actually shining and it's all finished and buffed out and all that stuff. I think it'll look really pretty. Um, granted, because we're halfway poor, <laughs> uh, we work with what we got. But hey, you know what? That's that's how you gain experience. That's where all the fun's at, right? So now, this thing. This thing. My old 1997 Ford F-250. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I said in the last recordings because that was actually a couple days ago. Um, sorry for the abrupt transition. You may have noticed it was starting to kind of like sprinkle and all that stuff that day. And so A for camera equipment, well, GoPro can handle this, but the rest of my stuff couldn't. And also trying to troubleshoot uh, my electrical systems here for the most part, that's where I'm about to be working. Um, that stuff, you, you kind of just, you don't want water getting in there. So. I went ahead, held off for that day, and then a couple other things came up where I had a party last night, which was awesome, fun, church crowd, or went with some church friends to a party. Um, anyways, I don't really need to explain, things Things popped up, so. Ah, all right, so today, now that it's actually a decent temperature, I'm going to finish and finish what I started here. So what I have seen, and I'm going to check here again, but um, my batteries, both of them right there, um, wasn't sure if they were holding a charge or not, and it turns out, uh, I think they are, but they're still on their way out. Um, that is just, this thing does not have very much amperage. I, I, tr uh, I charged them up to about 12 and a half volts, and they're somewhat hard holding, somewhat. Um, actually, like I said, I need to check again, but, <laughs> hey, there we go. But the main focus for today is to, uh, make sure you guys can see, there we go. Okay, so this is my injector driver module. I'm gonna be unplugging this guy. And then I'm going to be uh, doing a pinout test on this plug right here uh, for the different connectors, connections, so on and so forth. And see if I might have a short to ground somewhere or a short anywhere really. So the reason why I'm needing to do this to fill you all in is, uh, what's today's day? Today, today's Monday. Okay, <laughs> not last Friday, but the Friday before, to give you guys a little bit of a, a time frame. I took my truck out to Beautiful Feet, where you guys know that I love to volunteer at, because, uh, well, for multiple reasons, just gotta use the people that um, that work there, as well as the people they minister to just teach me so much. And it's just, it's awesome, I love it, <sighs> for so many reasons. Anyways, I was out there for the biggest event of the year, which was their car Christmas caroling, um, I don't remember what they call it. To be honest, I should have recorded it. I am sorry that I didn't. I kind of, like I know that, you know, I did talk ahead of time about recording some stuff there. And uh, my mentor who works there, he said, yeah, as long as 
uh, you give us credit whenever you post your stuff. And I was like, yeah, that's, I have no issue with that. So um, I could have brought my camera along, but I didn't. And so that way, unfortunately, you guys are just gonna kind of have to imagine, unless next year, I might make an episode out of it next year. But anyways, the truck kind of without really so much warning, just uh, it's it just started dropping injectors. And eventually only a handful of them were firing enough to the point where um, the truck was running extremely rough. It definitely would not have been able to move. Um, and I was kind of halfway afraid of catastrophic failure. So um, I killed it, tried starting it, didn't want to start. Batteries went dead. We hooked up the truck to jump, well, we, truck, we hooked up someone else's truck to this thing to jump it. And um, that gave us enough power to start seeing what this thing was doing. And um, as well as someone else who was there who uh, he works at a local auto repair place. I think it's called Jeffrey's Automotive. And um, thankfully he had a code reader and stuff like that in his truck. He's actually their master tech there. Uh, it's a place in Watauga off of 377. So if you guys want to, you know, Google it, go check them out. This guy was pretty cool. Um, Christian, uh, Christian values. I mean, that, so anyways, um, he took out his code reader, started seeing with the live data of this thing, what it was putting out, what the computer was seeing. And it was seeing everything it needed to see to fire off. And on top of that, we know that that was working because the exhaust pipe back here, well, there was unburned atomized fuel coming out of it. So you got unburned atomized fuel coming out of that exhaust pipe, which means a few, at least a few of these injectors were firing off, but it was not enough to keep this engine running. So now my issue, I gotta figure out why are not why are some of the injectors firing but not all of them um the truck sees excuse me the computer pcm sees what it needs to see but everything else uh, i guess for some reason some of the injectors either they're not getting a signal to fire they're not getting a strong enough signal uh or the injectors themselves are just fried which i wouldn't quite understand why but we will see so let me go ahead strap this thing onto my head because i'm gonna need both hands and let's start troubleshooting thing on? Yes it is. Haha, <laughs> I bet I look fabulous. Okay. Timed! Alright. So I want to make sure you guys can see, I think, so I'm going to remember to put this thing way down. Not a lock I shone! Okay, so battery charger right there because I've been using it, my great old multimeter and my phone. Oh, I totally forgot too, I got to disconnect that doing a hickey. Yay! Okay. Disconnected? No. Oh, almost. Almost. Haha. Okay. Oh, here's the IDM. Here's actually a factory one that I got off of a, a repair shop that I took my truck to, and since I needed a factory one at the point and they're you know they they said oh yeah we'll sell it to you for 100 bucks so here's my new factory idm but i got my aftermarket one from swamps diesel that's in here um in changing this dude out hey reflect on okay anyways in changing this dude out um it didn't improve my it didn't changing this out it did not change my problem so i'm gonna go ahead throw this guy in there after I've done all the troubleshooting there. But what I also want to emphasize guys is, um, as I think I've already said, I've disconnected my uh, battery terminals because um, just for some reason, I don't fully understand uh, something about electrical charges and shorting out stuff. I don't know, but anyways, um, if you're dealing with very sensitive electronics, unplug these, okay? Okay, let's move forward. Alrighty, um, oh, I should hook up that camera too. 
I thought it's really funny how I'm mic'd up, but I honestly don't think I'll be using it since I'll be using my phone for, for something else. There we go. Woo, it's wet. Cool. All right, since it ain't that windy today, I ain't gonna worry so much about a, uh, an external microphone. <sighs> so, now, testing time. Probably shouldn't have that on the battery, and I definitely should not have that on the battery. Oops. So, wiring harness, where are you? Right here. Oh, this will be really fun. I'm wondering if it's even a good idea to have this helmet just camera on my head. Why am I saying helmet? I don't know. You know what? That might be okay right there. Ow! Remove these caps. Okay, so first step, uh, three tests for the, I need a better place to put this. Ha! Huh. All right, test number one. Um, by the way, uh, was it dis, dispacodetech.com slash IDM install. That's what I am using right now. Looked over this briefly. It looks like there's three different tests. Um, not that you guys can read it, but there's one test right here which checks, I think, the individual injectors. This one right here checks the uh, IDM ground circuits, and then you have the other ones which power feed to the injectors or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I'll be following through all of these to see if my issue is in fact in the wiring harness. So I'm praying y'all, I'm praying this is it. Um, it'll definitely help knock out uh what other issues i have so on this picture right here where is it this is so oh, it's gonna be hard doesn't help too i got all this aftermarket wiring okay so here's the connector looks like it needs i'm holding it the right way there's a lot of holes not all of them are used cool top row not used at all Sweet. I just wish I had a way to better hold this. So, first, uh, first test, pins number 23 and 22, which is for number 22. Injector number 22, or injector number two pins, yeah, okay. And pins 22 and 23. Okay, um, three. Okay, so for future reference too, that's not bad. Um, if I hadn't already said, the range needs to be between 2.8 and 3.6 ohms, and that one right there read three. So I'd say we're good. Not exactly optimal, but pretty dang close, because I think optimally is 2.9. I think. I want to get this microphone off. Oh, okay. Let's see, next one. 23. Ooh, looks like I'm just going to be using 23 a lot. Sweet. All right. 23 and number seven. No, don't power off on my phone. So, the third pin. So that's good. Okay. Uh, yep, now I'm stumped. I have no idea what's going on. Each injector, red 23. 
I'm gonna do research on this. Yeah, I, now my brain is stumped. All this stuff worked out because these, these uh, injector, these injector tests, it indicate, it indicate there's no short in the wiring harness. Let me, unless I just start checking random pins and seeing where maybe if there is a short to a different one, I might start doing that. Let's see how that works. Cool. Well, all right. Yeah, I'm stumped. I did the three tests. My injector wiring harness seems to be good. I was checking to see if there's connections between um, one bank versus the other, and there doesn't seem to be. I went through all the grounds, all that stuff seemed to be good. Um, there's no short to ground, there's no short to power. I don't think there's a short to power. Um, each injector is reading the correct number of resistance. So I'm stumped. I want to go back to the drawing board. So, so I'm going to go ahead and the episode now. The journey continues. I now don't know why this thing's acting the way it is. So I'm going to change out the IDM. Um, start just kind of scratching my head, Googling and talking to some people as to why it might not let some injectors open. Because that unless like I said my IDM just took it I don't know I do not know I'm so confused I'm sorry y'all I'm just rambling I'm not being helpful so either way point being a few minutes of troubleshooting uh checking the wiring harness from what this one website said and everything everything checked out the way it said so my wiring harness according to this website is good which if if my wiring harness was not good or the injectors were not good, then something should have read differently. But everything read three ohms. Every every circuit, all eight injectors read three ohms. So if an injector failed, then I would think it would read something else. I don't know. Anyways, you guys like what you see, you want to see more of what's going on. Uh, because like I said, this is definitely a head scratching project that's going to continue. Um, you guys want to see videos of me riding my bike and all that stuff. Please like and subscribe. Um, as I did put out in a video a few days ago that I actually just recorded a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, sorry for the complete radio silence on y'all. Just like I said, I've been kind of going through some stuff. So nonetheless, you guys, uh, please pray for me. And uh, just know that I love you. God loves you. Um, yeah. Y'all remember, stand from your faith. Be strong. Do everything out of love. God bless y'all.